So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code at the side. And today we will be solving a 39th day problem on in the series of POTD. Okay, so the problem name is course schedule. The problem is defined as we have been given n tasks, okay, which are labeled as 0, 1, all up till n minus 1. Okay. Now there are some tasks. Uh, suppose there is an IF task here and a JF task here. Okay. So there are some tasks such that if I need to do IF task, then I will have to do JF task beforehand. Okay. Beforehand. And this representation is considered as I J. Okay. That means if I want to pursue let's say fifth task and a prerequisite is present at 5, comma 4, then I will have to complete four tasks beforehand. Then only I will pursue, uh, then only I will be able to pursue fifth course. Okay, so for doing fifth, I will have to do fourth first. That is the flow would be do fourth first and then go to fifth. Okay, this is just representing the flow of the graph. Okay. So you will be given with n m queries of type this only and uh, uh, the m queries okay so this is your input and you have to provide an ordering such that if a person follows that ordering then He or she can complete all tasks. That is, if suppose a dependency of four to five is given, then five cannot occur four occur before four in the final answer. That will not be a correct order. Four will have to occur before five. Okay, this will be a correct order. Okay, so let's see. So now let's try an example. Okay. Uh, before I will, I'm moving to example. I will tell you that this is a problem of graph. So if someone is not familiar with graph, uh, please try to concentrate. I'm explaining it from a scratch and trying to uh, uh, pay attention to the students with uh, zero graph knowledge also. So a graph is something like suppose you have a graph like this. Okay, five connected to zero, four connected to zero. Okay, then one. It is just like a binary tree if you say. But not exactly like that. Okay, it can have many children. Okay, like four instead of zero and one, it could have also a two because it can uh, it can be linked to the two also. Okay, so there is no limitation on number of cells. Okay, three, two, one, and two. It can also be possible that four connects to two and two connects to four. Okay, this is also possible in a graph. So treat it like a simple by a graph. I will tell you uh, the easiest approach. Okay, for this kind of graph. What is a possible order? So if I say that if I mention an order like 5, 4, 0, 2, 3, 1, okay. Is it a correct order? Let's see. So first graph, first edge is 5 to 0. 5 should occur before 0. Occurring, okay. 5 is occurring before 0. This graph is done. 4 should occur before 0. Okay, 4 is also occurring before 0. So done. Now 4 should occur before 1. So 4 is occurring before 1. Done. Then 3 should occur before 1. 3 should occur before 1. So 3 is occurring before 1. So done. And 2 should occur, uh, occur before 3. So 2 is occurring before 3. Done. 5 should occur before 2. So 5 is occurring before 2. So this also done. So as you can see, my all dependencies are being fulfilled and thus it is my correct order. Let's try to get a new order which is also possible in this case. So Suppose my another order is 4, 5, 2, 3, 1, 0. Let's check for it. So 4, uh, 5 to 0. 5 is occurring before 0. This graph is done. Uh, 4 should occur before 0. 4 is occurring before 0. Done. 4 should occur before 1. 4 is occurring before 1. Done. Uh, 3 should occur before 1. 3 is occurring before 1. Done. 2 should occur before 3. 2 is occurring before 3. Done. 5 should occur before 2. 5 should occur before 2, which is also done. So this is also in valid order. Now the question says that you can return any one of them. Any one of them. Okay. 
so that is not a problem right now so you will the problem the question also says that if there is no such order possible no such order possible then return empty array so let us analyze when is this possible that there is no such order so suppose a graph looks like one two three and four okay this is my graph so is it possible to construct an order like this so if i say that one uh, if i try to fulfill this dependency that one should occur before two so i mentioned one here then two here okay this graph is done this size is done sorry two should occur before three two is occurring before three in this order okay now i have to fulfill a dependency of three occurring before four okay done now three should occur before one okay so if three is occurring before one i will have to place a one here or i will have to place three here so if i place one here then one to two dependency will fail okay not possible if i place three here then two to three dependency will fail so i derive at a conclusion that whenever i have a cycle present in my graph cycle okay this is important cycle present in my graph return an empty array okay okay so up till now we have uh, break down the problem into two parts where first part is check whether the graph contains a cycle if yes then uh, return empty else else is my second part that is return the uh, prepare for the word that is topological sort the sorts topological sort the ordering we discussed above like 540231 and 452310 these are known as topological sort topological sort definition is linear order of vertices such that if there is an edge between uh, u to v such that 5 to 0 then 5 occurs before 0 okay so this was our this is a formal definition of topological sort there is no need to uh, you, um, there is no need to memorize it just have a little idea of what is the topological sort okay so now i hope many of you have already completed what is the topological sort and how to check how to get an order of topological sort using dfs that is most easy okay but i will tell you a approach using Khan's algorithm because it will be solving the two of the above problems single-handedly okay otherwise if i am going through the dfs algorithm i will have to first check about this using the visited and past visited arrays and then return this okay but Khan's algorithm will do it in the one go so our problem arises as Khan's algorithm we have to solve for Khan's algorithm okay so my problem new, new problem is Khan's algo. Okay, what does it say? So a graph was 5 to 0, 4 to 0, 5 to 2, then 3 here, then 1 here. And this. Okay, this was a graph. So Khan's algorithm says compute the in degree of each node so in degree here means number of incoming edges so the help me mark it out so for 5 you can see there is no incoming edge so 0 here for 0 you see there are 2 incoming edges so 2 here 4 again 0 1 1 only coming from 3 3 1 only coming from 2 sorry this is 1 now 2 only 1 incoming edge coming from 5 so okay 1 so if i make an array for all these elements in degree so 0 1 2 3 4 5 
So these two are zero, two, and rest all other are ones. Okay. So Kahn's algorithm says use a queue. Okay. Queue. Push all the elements that have an int degree of zero. Okay. So if I make if I make my queue as this marker is fine. So if it is my queue, okay. So I can see four and five are zero in degree. So four here, five here. Now my Q front is four. So take it out, push it into the answer. So my answer contains four. After that, if after that for all the edges connected to four, that is outgoing edges of four, outgoing edges of four. Cancel them and reduce the integer. That is four is connected to two and uh, four is connected to zero and one. Correct. So cancel these edges and reduce the integer accordingly. So two will reduce to one. One will reduce to zero. As soon as one will reduce to zero, push that into the queue. So one will come here. All right. Four is my answer. Next element is five. Take it out. Push it into the answer uh, answer array. Now remove all the edges of five. So this is removed. This is removed. This becomes zero. Push it. Push zero here. And this becomes uh, what do we say? This becomes zero. Okay. So this also becomes zero. So push two here. Okay. After this, one will come out. Push one into the answer. All right. One comes out, and one has no outgoing edges, so one stays here only. After that, zero comes out. Zero has no outgoing edges. Zero will stay in the answer only. After that, two comes out, and two takes out this uh, edge, and three's in degree becomes zero. And after that, three is the Three will come here and then it will come out and it will be three. Okay. But you remember that I said that it will be solving both of these conditions. I just showed that this is my answer. And this is my answer how? 4, 5, 1, 3, 0. You can check it. 4 should occur, uh, 0 should occur after 4, so 0 is occurring after 4. 0 should occur after 5, 0 is occurring after 5. And you can check for the rest of them. It is 2 here. Okay. Now for the first one, so let us try to use the cancel algorithm for a directory graph. So one, two, three. This is the directory edge. Okay. Okay. So my graph would something look like one, two, three. Okay. Now one has an incoming edge of one, two also one, three also one. Okay. So as you can see, the loop is not even started here. And if the loop is not even started because the queue does not contain any element with in degree zero, then there is must be a cycle because our answer array is less than n and is the number of vertices in that case return empty okay hope i was clear to you i know this question is slightly tricky because of we are using cons algorithm and i don't think my explanation was up to the point today i had few lags between uh, in between sorry for that hope you were able to cope up with me but let's move to the code now okay and if you have any doubts, any comments, please drop down in the comment section. It will be very helpful for me in the future. And please, there is a request before we move to the code. Uh, please, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I am keeping uh, plus 10 subscribers on this video as a target. So hope uh, you will help me complete that. So without wasting any time, let's code it down. So for coding, we will first have to create a graph. So my first step is to create. A graph and an in degree array simultaneously. Okay, what I will do is for in degree, let's create a vector of in type and name it as in degree only. Okay. It will be of size n and all the integers are zero right now. Now my graph will look. This is standard way of representing a graph using adjacent list. Okay, hope you know that. Size will be n and then start making it. So for n type going from zero up till m i plus plus. Now prerequisite i1 will be pushed. So prerequisite adj of Pre requisites, the spelling is long. I think I mentioned it correct. Pre requisites, yeah, it's correct. I1, okay, because the uh, edge was coming from the right one to the left one, so I1 
dot push it is not if here sorry for my confusion dot push back again i have to use the same spelling so instead of using that spelling i am just copy pasting it and it will be zero here okay also because it is coming in the zero it in degree of zero it will increase so in degree of zero it will be increased okay so our graph and in degree are complete here and it will be this here okay. now we have to use trans algorithm for that make a queue of type int q okay now fill all the elements into the queue whose currents in degree are 0 for int i from 0 up till n i plus plus if in degree of i equals to equals to 0 q dot push okay now my vector of int answer this will be containing my final answer now for sorry while my q is not empty what you have to do my node is actually q dot front that is the frontmost element in the queue and then pop it out push it into the answer that answer dot push back that node and then for all those uh, outgoing edges from that node move those edges and uh, subsequently handle the in degree for auto it in at the same risk of that node what you have to do uh, in degree of it minus minus and if in degree of it now becomes zero then q dot push that it into the uh, q okay. after this there can be a condition that if my answer size is less than n if my answer is size is not uh, equal to n then there is a cycle present a cycle is present in that case return an empty array as discussed okay else discuss uh, as discussed return your answer array. okay hope it works and working fine for combined run in the meantime please 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 subscribe it means a lot to me uh, there has been some error in the submit button today So it's running fine and hope you like the video and please if you have not subscribed please subscribe the channel and because it means a lot to me if you subscribe and that's it for today. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep coding. That's all my wish for you. So have a nice day.